it's Dr. Sammy Pryor and today I'm going to be talking about plastics and your health. We're going to continue this series. Please watch all this series. Uh, there will be tips and stuff on every one of them. But since the 1960s, plastic production has increased by approximately 8.7% annually, evolving into a $600 billion industry, global industry. And approximately 8 million metric tons of plastic enter the oceans every year. And conservative estimates suggest there's 5.25 trillion particles currently circulating in the ocean surface waters. While some enter the ocean from the maritime operations, much of it, about 80%, come from the land-based plastics. Yes. And when they enter the water, they become, uh, they start to degradate and it depends on the polymer, the shape, the density, and the purpose of the plastic and how long it will persist. And the plastic will degrade due to sunlight, wave action, temperature, and pH. And the microplastics are defined at uh, five micrometers or less, and this does include nanoparticles of plastic, which are on the uh, nanoscale of less than one micrometer because plastics are made up of monomers. The most common plastics in the ocean are polyethylene high density from milk jugs and juice jugs polyethylene low density which comes from plastic bags, six pack rings for cans, bottles, netting, and drinking straws. And next is the pro polypropylene which is from rope, bottle caps, and nets. And then polystyrene which comes from plastic utensils, food containers, and this makes up 33% of the plastics in the ocean, and then polyamide from nylon clothes and polyester from the polyester clothes. Okay guys, so please, please do not contribute to this problem. That's why you should carry your own grocery bags. You know, carry your own grocery bags to the store. It's super easy. Just unload them and take them right back out to the car. You'll have them with you always. And it only takes about a month to get a new habit and you'll be bringing them in. And then I carry my own straws in this little bag. They're stainless steel straws. I have, I won't lie, been looked at kind of crazy when I pull these out, but it is a habit that you could get into, please, so you don't contribute to this pollution in the ocean because this affects all our health, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. And when you buy clothes, especially your bed clothes, make sure you buy cotton and cotton sheets because you spend eight hours, nine, ten, some people in their beds, and that friction of sleeping and the sheets and the bed clothes will cause the shedding of any polyester yeah so you want those to be cotton which are organic substances so why are these a problem because the sea animals ingest these microplastics and they can translocate from the digestive tract and get into their circulation system and then they can be stored in the surrounding tissues and these smaller animals like the plankton and stuff they accumulate them and they get eaten and through trophic uh, transfer which means the food web goes up and up the bigger animals will have more and more bioaccumulation of these plastics okay and in California USA 25% of the commercial fish tested have contained microplastics in them. And they've also found in the sea salt and in water microplastics and beer and sugar and honey. So this is a big problem in our food sources. And the shellfish contain the most. The European shellfish consumer eats approximately 11,000 plastic particles annually. Yeah, so I don't want you to completely not eat fish because the fish oils are super healthy for you, but I tell my patients to try to limit fish to twice a week because they also, out of the ocean, they also contain heavy metals, especially mercury. So yeah, you want 
want to limit your eating of them, but you don't want to completely take them out of your diet. Now, luckily, 90% of these ingested nanoparticles and microparticles of plastics leave via your feces, but that leaves 10%. And some of these microplastics, uh, through research, has been shown to absorb chemical at, uh, pollutants like pesticides and things, so they carry nasty stuff on them. And it has been shown to disrupt the microbiome and these nanoparticles can be absorbed through pinocytosis, which basically it's like engulfing it, and uh, through vesicular phagocytosis, which is also a way of absorbing. And the microfold cells in the pyres patches are the main sites of the uptake of plastics and they enter the circulatory system and through the lymphatic system and then these smallest nanoparticles uh, can penetrate all the organs and they can be transported across the cell membranes that's why you need to have healthy cell membranes when i get a clinic guys i'll have a machine that can uh, read your cell membrane health and so that's one thing I'll be looking at to improve so keep out a lookout for when I get my own clinic you know we're up and but I have to make enough money so that's why you need to subscribe so I can get some sponsors and things I really want to help people but anyways these micro particles these nanoparticles of microplastics they have been shown to cause cytotoxicity, so basically they're toxic to the cells. They have been shown to cause inflammation and production of reactive oxygen species. And they even find these larger polyethylene particles, which remember come from the plastic bags and the drinking straws. That's why I wish you could change your habits and bring your own bags and bring your own straws. Stop throwing those in the trash and those will stimulate the cytokines IL-6, IL-1B, and TNF-alpha, which are all markers as a doctor we look at for inflammation in the body. You can even inhale these microparticles. We know city air contains a lot of them from tire degradation and just uh, clothes shedding, those polyesters and all those other things. And now they've shown even face masks those for covid we wore those face masks they shed a lot of particles of microplastics and these cause the same reactions in the lungs and i think that's why uh, airway problems are so bad and i think that's why covid caused such a huge problem i mean you know it makes sense right oh dumb bird go away <laughs> interrupting our video but plastic products are composed of monomers and additive chemicals. About 40% of the content is additive chemicals. And these exert really negative health uh, detriments. And so you need to tune in next week to hear about those. These are the ones that interrupt your hormones. These are the ones that cause weight gain and overall can really hurt you. Uh, these additives, they contributed to my first patient that I had pass away and it saddens me and that's what got me to make this series. So one thing i can say from this video if you can help yourself by buying cotton clothes especially sheets and bed clothes since you spend a lot of time you can low lower the spin cycle to low and use cool water when you wash your polyester clothes and that will decrease the shedding of these things if you could bring your own cotton produce bags to the store to get your produce and to buy bulk grains and beans and if you could um, 
buy like glass products and things that would be a benefit to you because you'll be exposed to less plastics from the packaging and you'll also be uh, helping the environment because you won't have to throw those in the trash and contribute to the plastic problem we have all right guys but tune in next week and I'll even tell you about a test I can do which is $99 which can test these additives and we can see if they're affecting your energy pathways and things but that's all this video is about guys Thank you so much for watching. You need to check out all these videos in this series because they're all packed full of information. But please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy learning and you want to be healthy. And if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I mean, guys, I'm a veteran that is homeless and I need you guys to help me out. I want to help you out. And so if you could help me out. I would really appreciate it. Okay, and I love you all. Bye.